This is the spud stick from SBS, and we're gonna see what has made this surfboard one of our most popular selling in our range and how it differs from other boards in our range. We're also gonna go over who this board is best for, what conditions it's best surfed in, and also how to get the right size for you. So let's dive in. from SBS Boards. The spud stick has been in our range now for a good few years and our customers and team riders say the simplest way to think of this board is if you see a ripple then this board is going to catch it. And maybe this is the reason it's become one of our most popular selling surfboards for beginners. This board dominates paddle power in the lineup. Being able to catch small waves and feel super stable underfoot makes it a great choice for anyone perfecting those shortboard skills. As you've seen from the clips, even some of the smallest waves can become some of the most fun surf sessions you ever have. The low entry rocker allows this board to plane quickly and pick up speed, especially in small and choppy surf. This is also the key aspect that helps it paddle faster. The benefits of having a wider outline board in a smaller length is speed. Speed is needed for small waves, but with the added maneuverability of a wider outline and a higher volume, it's going to make small wave surfing a lot of fun. This combination with the low entry rocker means catching far more waves, but because of the volume and the outline also mean that you can surf this board in a much smaller size, it's going to mean more maneuverability and ease of use. If you like throwing the tail about in smaller surf, the spud stick is going to be a great option, as it has a good amount of lift in the tail rocker, allowing for harder, tighter turns without sacrificing too much speed. This is definitely gonna be a great board for anyone looking to get their hands on their first shortboard. Depending on the type of waves that you're looking to surf, as well as your weight and skill level, you will need to find the correct dimensions that work for you. To do this, we have a super helpful volume calculator that will guide you through finding your ideal board size, or alternatively, you can always shoot us a message and we'll be more than happy to find you something in our range that suits yourself and your style, especially for your local conditions. One of the key benefits of riding a higher volume shortboard is that you can surf small waves with little downside when the surfing gets bigger. If you're here in the UK like us, you know that we get all kinds of surf conditions. Mostly windy, sloppy and choppy, and maybe the rare glassy day or two. Having a board like this under your feet makes those less than ideal surf days far more enjoyable. How it differs from our range. We have a few higher volume, wider outline shortboards in our range. This one comes at the top end for paddle power and it comes with a slightly wider tail than the ball. It's a great option for small surf as well as beginners just transferring from a bigger board, meaning a little less sensitivity and maneuverability, but with that added extra benefit of more speed. Also the wider outline in the tail may favor that heavier back footed surfer, as well as the larger surfer. If that sounds like you, maybe the spud stick is a good choice. The construction is a traditional wood stringer with a lightweight EPS foam and epoxy resin. This means it's gonna fly in smaller surf and give you more control and less swing weight compared to other constructions. The spud stick also has a five fin setup, allowing for quick change between quad setups for smaller surf or faster waves, or a thruster setup for more control in bottom and top turns. So final thoughts on the spud stick. If you surf less than two to three times a month, looking to maximize paddle power and wave catching potential, and maximize every surf session, this is gonna be a great option. If this surfboard sounds like it's ticking all the boxes, check out how to get your own in the link in the description. I've also linked a few other boards similar to this one in the description below. And that rounds it up. For a review of our ball surfboard mentioned in this video, click the thumbnail here. 